So, Ted, the term psychobiotic, uh, it's one you've coined, so what does it mean? Well, psychobiotics are an attempt to promote the growth of good bacteria in our intestine, bacteria that are good for our mental health and indeed for our general physical well-being. And how do we get there? How do we have a better psychobiotic life? Well, I suppose one of the ways in which we can do this is to have a more Mediterranean-type diet. It's certainly the case that when we eat a very northern European diet with, with lots of red meat, that we have a negative impact on our microbiota. And of course there are other things that we can do to try and have uh, uh, from our lifestyle to protect our microbes, so like avoiding antibiotics. Absolutely. Uh, living in a, in, a, in a green environment and uh, not being over clean, I suppose, in some Indeed, ways. Indeed, I, I think that they're important issues. So having a good broad spectrum diet, a narrow diet leads to a narrow microbiota. Of course, excess alcohol consumption, smoking, they all have a very stress, negative impact. Stress, our, our own stress, research on stress would, would really... Stress has a very negative impact on our microbiota and antibiotics. Unnecessary use of antibiotics is probably the most damaging thing in terms and of the microbiota. One of the surprising things is the way you were born, like which you have no influence now, but if you're born by C-section, you have a different microbiome in airy life than if you're born uh, by normal delivery. Indeed, and this is very relevant given the fact that C-section rates globally are on the rise in a very dramatic way. So people will be somewhat surprised to learn, John, that microbes in the gut influence brain function. How do they do that? Indeed. Um, this is one of the most intriguing aspects and it's a real paradigm shift. We're turning things upside down in terms of how we think about the brain. I guess um, what we're realizing that all aspects of brain function are somewhat being influenced by signals coming from the gut. And we're only at the beginning of trying to understand what these signals are and how they're getting to the, to, to the, to the brain. What we know that is that they are there and that they're very important at key times in life. Early in life, helping brain development. One of the key things is we've shown that myelin, which is the insulation on which cells communicate in the brain uh, is regulated by uh, the microbes we have in our gut. And the birth of new neurons, new cells, is also under this type of regulation. But we have a long way to go. It's just at the beginning of this psychobiotic revolution. Do we have any idea, John, as to what sort of molecules the microbiota is capable of producing that our brains need? Well, you know, Bacteria are little factories producing all sorts of weird and wonderful chemicals that our bodies wouldn't have otherwise. A clear example is in, is in breast milk. Uh, breast milk uh, generates uh, sugars that, um, intriguingly, the baby can't even digest. And they're digested by the microbes to produce molecules that support brain development.